Thank you for giving me blood. Thank you for giving me blood. Thank you for saving my life. Give blood to the Red Cross and change a life, starting with your own. I'm Abong. I'm Sonia. And I'm Kate, and today we are dishing with you from Church Key, located at 1337 14th Street Northwest. Come here for 500 different types of beer. And our guest today is Wayne Manigo, who is a comedy entrepreneur. And I've never heard of that before, so what does a comedy entrepreneur do? Well, one of the things I've done is like I've taken like the free comedy that we have available, got my name into the comedy game, and then introduced other businesses to getting more comedy in. So by starting something free where everyone can participate, I kind of like set up an offspring for like other things I wanted to do. This has worked so well that I'm actually opening a comedy club next month. Okay, so like a teaser. So you tease people like, I mean, not in a bad way, but that's right. in well, a business sense, you, you exactly. tease people by giving them a little bit of content, a little bit of comedy, and getting them in there and actually showing them how they can actually, how you can generate money. Exactly, that, right? and at the same time, I'm bringing some of the best comedians from the road and some of the best local comedians so that we have a place to network as well. So the audience is really getting free comedy that they would normally pay $20, 30 to see. Okay. Well, that's funny because usually you say that the only thing you don't have to pay for in life is laughter. So it's kind of one of those things you would not maybe a comedy show. Because you laugh at yourself. But you should, you should be making everybody yeah. laugh yeah. all the time if you're a comedy entrepreneur. I make my mom laugh. She's like, thank God you got a W2. <laughs> this is starting to pay off. <laughs> now, the, traditional, the, the traditional comedy setup is sort of like the comedian with a microphone and a chair on in front of the brick wall. Uh -huh. So you're making the venue something different or is it this traditional stage that you're putting people well, when we started initial, we took like a room that was empty and we normally go to a bar on a slow night and say, hey, you've got zero customers. We can bring you X amount of customers and as long as you let us have a comedy show. Mm -hmm. And so far we've done it with the first part's recessions. We have comedy times 10. We feature 10 different comedies, uh, 10 different comedians every week. So you can go like four times in the same month and see 40 different comedians. Wow. And now we've got the new room opening in Bethesda. That's called uh, Belly Last in Bethesda. What wow. do audience, audiences think is funny? What do you guys talk about that's funny? Between comments or when we talk to the audience? When we talk to the audience, because I think the audience likes to hear things that have to do with real life. You know, people find yes. real life situations funny. Yep. So is that, is, do you find that to be true? For myself, no, because I'm no? a different, well, I have a different style of comedy than other people. And one of the Obviously. things I've learned is that, yeah, uh, my friends bet me I wouldn't wear this hat. <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to have more beer after. Pay up. Wait, what do you get? Yeah. What, do you, what did yeah, you, what you get? get? Pay up, bitches. Uh, well, we'll be drinking all night at the 11th Street Lounge. We're doing, that's nice. another free comedy show that we're going to do. You mean free. we'll be drinking we all night? We'll be drinking. We'll, be drinking. Yes. Yes. We're we'll do the group picture and everything. It's yeah. like, told nice. ya. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things I love about doing this with comedy is it's the one field where people are actually willing to share information. Mm -hmm. Other jobs that are kind of hoarded. Everything I've learned in the last year, I've learned through other comedians. And people say, hey, you know what? If you're going to start marketing, you might want to avoid this. Or, hey, here are certain comics you might want to book because they have an attitude. Or, hey, I mean, we just freely share information. And that's something you don't get in other professions. So how do you find the comics? And you said like, as much as 40 in one month. So how do you find comics? You already have this network? or was Well, because I do a lot of the open mics in D.C., okay. I get a chance to meet. And what I tell up-and-coming comedians is that they need to go out and network with the comics. Yeah. If you go to a paid show, if you go to a free show, Comics are normally hanging around anyway. They're probably coming from the road. Yes, they want to talk to you. Yes, they want to pick your brain. I've gotten to the point now that I've set up a comedy class, and I've only been doing it a year. And it's a two-part class. Part one, my experience in marketing and comedy, how I got this fast. And part two, I'm bringing in headliners who will teach you how to write jokes, how to set up, how to work the crowd, and you get to audition some of that material. When, yeah, you, when did you realize you were funny? When my mother started <laughs> laughing. <laughs> it's Mom, like, is, it's a tough in your yeah. is your mother yeah. the butt of a couple of jokes in your in your set? No, because I'm still afraid of her. <laughs> <laughs> she stays in shape just to chase me down and beat me. Well, smart man, <laughs> smart man. I was gonna say I I started out actually doing I did stand up uh, years ago. When no. I used to live in Buffalo. Yeah, I live in Buffalo, New York. I used to, I used to do the open mic night. I go to open mic night. I used to write a lot. I used to, I used to write back then, and it was exactly what you just said. And so after a few times of doing this, the uh, the club I was at um, actually wanted me to come back. I started, I started doing doing more open mic nights, started doing, you know, opening for local acts. And, and after that, I moved to the D.C. area, and I stopped completely. No, he, 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 he needs to be helped. I'm working with comedians now. Exactly. No, that's why I didn't want to bring it up, because I don't want to do it anymore. But, um, <laughs> but, 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 card. Wait. <laughs> But I, I love comedy. I'm a huge, I'm a huge uh, fan of comedians. Well, the big thing about comedy is that people have to realize that if you're going to make a commitment, you have to stick with it because it will take you between five and ten years before you consider to be a comedian by by trade. Mm -hmm. So people may go do it for a year. You know, we got lives and families, and sometimes you might be you not you might not get that commitment you want to. But if you stick with it long enough, it will eventually pay off. And you probably need that time to create the persona and, and your style. Yes, right? not exactly. Developing your own voice is what they call it in comedy. 
So, and I'm still doing that. But within a year, I've been fortunate enough to ask people, be honest with me. Am I funny? What do I need to fix? Mm -hmm. And you need people to give you the honest feedback, not your friends, other people in the industry that you respect. Where can we find these free events that you're doing? I've got them all listed on WayneManComedy.com. But for example, Monday night, we have the 11th Street Lounge. We have the Looking Glass Lounge. Are you drinking? Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Uh, Tuesday night, we have it at our uh, Solly's on 11th and U. Wednesday night, we have Comedy Times 10. Wow. We Thursday night, we have, it. oh, and Wednesday, we also have Tom Toms as well. Tom Toms is excellent. And that's where you find like a lot of the up and coming comics. And every now and again, a guest comic will make an appearance there. Really? So you'll get free comedy there. Um, Friday, we have Sabara's, and I missed the Thursday one. Someone's going to kill maybe me. Maybe Church Key. Any possibility? <laughs> right, Church Key? Absolutely, the absolutely. Like, we'll try of course. Who, who, do, who are the funniest comics? Comedians to you, who who do you like to listen to? Or? Uh, well, Richard Which... Pryor will always be an all-time favorite of mine. Um, on the local scene, we've got uh, Seton Smith, we've got uh, Will Hessler, we've got, I mean, there's just so many guys that you keep meeting and you learn from that it's just, I mean, Clay Miles, Clay Miles is my idol. He kind of gave me a book and said, if you want to study comedy, this is what you need. And that book was by Judy Carter, it's called The Comedy Bible, and every comedian starts with that book. Do you think that Bill Cosby is funny enough to not have to pay for food at Vince Chili Bowl? He was back in the day. <laughs> no, I, he's, I think he still is. I saw his. I saw his, his last his show he did um, in the late '79. Uh, I think it was. He was wearing oh, the brown what? suit. '79. It was '79. I think it was '79. It was That's hilarious. Still eating free at no, the chili bowl. Yeah, but it, was, it, was, it, was really, it was. It was really. It was really. It warranted oh, free really? chili dogs. Really? I'm telling you, it was amazing. It was phenomenal. The fact that they made Obama wait, but Ben can, but uh, Bill can just walk in. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's something that we're all going to be looking forward to as we're laughing our, our tails off at you, I guess. Thanks for letting us know about free comedy in Thanks the district. Thanks for having me. And all the things you're doing to make it a funnier place to live and be. Uh-huh. Now, this is like the of... one time that we can really do the nudge, nudge, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> let us know what you think about this episode and all of our other episodes by following us on Facebook and commenting on our Facebook fan page. As always, thanks for joining us on this episode of The District Dish.